Hey everyone, here I'm doing exercise 10.3, 10th question. This is from menstruation chapter of class 6. The question is, by splitting the following figures into rectangles, find their areas. The measurement is given in centimeter. The first figure is this. We're going to split them into a, a different rectangles or square. And then we're going to find the area of each figure. And then later we're going to add up. Now if you look at the first figure, I'm going to divide in this way. Uh, first, I'm going to draw a straight line here, like this. And here one more so I have split this shape into two different shapes and then I'm going to draw over here why I'm drawing because it's the only way where we can able to find the measurements we can do this we can divide you might be thinking why I'm not dividing the other way if I divide in other way I'm not getting a measurements of each and every side that is why I'm dividing in this way now here you can see that let me take the first one has a this is a uh, take the rectangle A, this is B, this is C and this is D. We are going to find out the area of all this A, B, C, D and then we are going to find the area and then we are going to add up. But what are the measurements here? So they have given this whole thing is 4 and here this thing is 3 which means this will become 1 and this will become 3 because this 3 and 3 are parallel right? So we got this side over here. So let me erase this part and here. So when we split up, this will become 1 and this will, instead of 4, this will become 3. 3 plus 1 will become 4. Okay. Now we got the dimensions for this too. The next, for C we want length and breadth. So length here will be 3. You can see this is 2. So 2 plus 1 because this is 1. Parallel to this is this side. So 1 and 1 because they both are parallel. So even this side will become 1. So we got the dimensions for this square also. So 2 plus 1, the whole thing will become 3, this one. And here this side is 3. So 3 and 3 means this is a square shape. And here this will become 2. And since this whole well, like we, we just got this has 3, right? So 3, this is 3 means the parallel to this is this side. So this is 3, 3 and on the top we have 1. It will become 4. So the whole thing will become I hope it is clear how we got 4 because 2 plus 1 we got this side has a 3 and the parallel to this side is this side so this will also become 3 so 3 on the top we have one more length 1 so 3 plus 1 4 so this whole side will become 4 now we got the dimensions for all the figures we're going to find out the area of each shape and we're going to add up so this is the first question first we're going to find out the area of A so area of A is equal to it, it is a square shape you can see all the sides are 3 so it will be 3 into 3 because area of square is side into side so side into side is 3 into 3 which is 9 so 9 centimeter square I hope it's clear I'm talking about this shape the figure A where sides are 3 you can see all the three sides are I've got 3 means it's a square shape all the sides will be 3 now next one is area of B so area of B is equal to now in the B you can see the length this is a length which is 2 it's given and this is a breadth which is 1 so length into breadth which is 2 into 1 which is equal to 3 3 centimeter square next we're going to find out the area of the next shape which is C now C is also shape of square because we got this side as 3 and this side 2 plus 1 this will become 3 so 3 and 3 means it's a square shape so it's a area of square is side into side so which is 3 square or yeah or 3 into 3 which is 9 so 9 centimeter square the next one will be the last one that is a shape D so area of D will be equal to now this is rectangle we got this as length as 4 and breadth is equal to 2 so 4 into 2 which is 8 so 4 into 2 which is 8 centimeter square now we're going to add up the total the whole one to get the total area of the given shape so total area will become total area is equal to you have to just add up all the figure all the areas we got which is 9 plus 3 plus 9 plus 8 uh, I'm sorry I have written 3 here it has to be 2 it's my mistake I have written 2 into 1 as 3 it has to be 2 uh, just let me re rewrite this as 2 centimeter square so this will become 9 plus 3 plus not I'm sorry again 3 it will become 2 so 9 plus 2 plus 9 
plus 8. So 9 plus 2 plus 9 plus 8 will be 28. So we'll get the total answer as 28 centimeters square. That is the area of the whole figure. Now we're going to find out the area of the next, qu next question. In the next figure, I'm going to just draw one single line that is here. Okay, two lines and then here and that's it. We have split into rectangles here. Now let us find out the dimension. Now you can see in the figure they have given this whole thing is 3 which is this whole side is 3. I want to find out only this much. How much is this? Now you can see whole side is 3 and here this whole side is 2. If this whole side is 2 it means this will also will become 2 which means this portion will become 2. And from the whole, this whole is 3 and from here we're going to just found, we found this only this part is 2. Means this part will become 1. 2 plus 1 will be 3. So we got this portion as 1. I hope it is clear how we got 1. Again, see, we got this portion to be, okay, uh, we got this area to be a 2 because this is 2 and this is parallel, this is 2. Which means from here up to here it will be 2. And then this will become 1. 2 plus 1, it is 3. The whole side is 3, so 2 plus 1 will be a 3. So let me do it once again. We're going to divide the rectangle like this and then this. Now this will be a A, this will be B, and this will be C. A. B and C are of same shape. We don't have to calculate twice, it will be same. Now here, this we got it as 1. This is 1 and this is 2 right now we're going to find out the area so this is second question so area of a a, a is a rectangle shape so area of a is equal to it will be length into breadth length here is 5 so 5 into breadth we got it as 1 so 5 into 1 which is 5 so 5 centimeter square the next area of B and C, the both are of same. So area of B and C, the area will be same. So they are both a rectangle again and you can see length is 2 and breadth is uh, 1. Here also length is 2 and breadth is 1. So it is 2 into 1 which is equal to 2. So 2 centimeter square. Now we are going to find out the whole area. So total area will become, so total area will be, it's like A plus B plus A, area of A, B and C. We have to add. So it will be, first it is 5 plus area of B is 2 and area of C is also 2. So 5 plus 2 plus 2 is 9. So 9 centimeter square. So this is how you can split the given figure into different shape and you can find the answer. I hope this is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment below. And if you want a solution from other, for other questions or for the same chapter, you can go to the playlist. Thank you so much for watching.